Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith. If you didn't know, now you do. Um, so I want to apologize first for the lack of videos that haven't happened. I have one on my laptop. Uh, I'm fixing to edit right now. Um, but after that one, that was from a couple weeks ago. Here in Tennessee, we had the worst heat wave that came through. It's still pretty hot, but like our main air conditioner that cools down most of the house, because there's one right behind me. Um, this is, there's one in this room and there's one in another room and the big main one that's bigger than those little ones, um, cooled down like the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, my brother's room, it went out. So when it was like 115 degrees and that happened like all week last week for the past two weeks, I think it was like, it was like 98 degrees with a heat index of 115. So it was miserable. So most of the time we spent, you know, not here. We went to my grandmother's house. We went to my dad's house and we stayed in like stores a lot just to stay out of the house because it was really hot when we came home to go to bed. Because one little air conditioner cooling off this one room with like 50 people in it, it was a disaster. So yeah, but with that being said, I am back and I have, I'm going to try to film two, two or three videos. It shows that I don't have a lot of time on my memory card. So I'm going to try to make it fast. And sorry for the hair. It's doing its own thing. It looked real good earlier, but now it's kind of dropping. And I got my lip rings back in, so I apologize for that too. So the first video, which is right now, is going to be a book haul. I went to a few thrift stores and I did a like an online order and I got a couple books that I want to share with you. Um, this one I ordered offline and it was an old library book from uh, Vancouver Island Regional Library. It's called The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. Um, I'm going to have a review on this book coming up maybe I don't think I'm gonna film it today but I do have a review on a few books that I have read so this book is like amazing I did read it I read it in like five hours and I actually have the second one and third one I purchased it right after I ordered this one and it's on its way so this book like long story short I gave it like a four and a half to five out of five stars this is really good if you have a chance pick it up and when I bought this I bought it offline for like 75 cents on this one website I go to um, and I wasn't really you know it told me that it was from a library so I wasn't really if I didn't like it I wasn't gonna be you know crying over 75 cents but uh, but if I didn't like it I didn't want to buy like a brand new like $16 book so I went for the cheaper option and I really really do love this book so, you know, in the near future, I may actually go and just buy, like, the one that isn't from a library. This is really good. From that same order off the internet, from the same website, I bought this book. It's called The Distance uh, From Me to You by Marina Gessner. Gessner? Gessner? Um... This is also 75 cents and I did get it and it's from a different library that was selling it. There's stuff online. It even has like an old fashioned little library um, card and yeah, pretty much besides the library markings, it looks pretty brand spanking new like no one has read it. So I was really excited about that. Um, this I don't know too much about, it's just the girl and her friends are going to go on a hike in the mountains but it ends up just being her by herself and she meets someone on the trail and they became become friends or something um but i seen uh kayla from books in la la from here on youtube um haul this and she said that she was really excited and it sounded pretty good so i did buy it and it was 75 cents so i don't like it i ain't gonna be upset about it um and from that same online order, I bought a cookbook. Um, it's called The Pioneer Woman Cooks a Year of Holidays. I do have a book, a cookbook by Re. Um, it is called, where are you at? It is called um, Dinner Time. This is a year of holidays. So basically it just goes through every single holiday you could 
Cinco, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Cinco de Mayo, um, Christmas, Halloween, and gives like various uh, recipes on fun little treats or dinner or just stuff and I'm excited. And this was pretty much brand new as well and I paid only like $8 for this and like it's a retail of 30 so I was really really excited to get this because I've been eyeballing this one for a while and finally it went down low enough that I was okay with paying $8 for it so there there's that so that was all from my online order that I bought um now I got two books I got from a thrift store we went around to various thrift stores in town or bookstores used bookstores um there was one that we went into that their books were insanely priced like it was like eight dollars for a ratty paperback Stephen King book that was old and I was like mm. and there was this one book it was like a copyright date or a release date of 2016 and they wanted like eight dollars for it so I could understand being a little pricier for some new books but yeah I didn't purchase anything there um, here in town our library has a bookstore inside the library and so that's where I got these next two books and I didn't really know anything of these two books when I got them they just honestly the cover sold me and then when I got home I googled and got a little more insight of the books and as thrilled as I was to purchase them because of the cover the I wasn't really intrigued by the whole what the book was about um, so, yeah. The first book I got is Little Bee by Chris Cleave. Um, the only thing that Mac told me was, we don't want to tell you what happens in this book. It is truly a special story. And we don't want to spoil it. And nevertheless, you need to, you need to know enough just to buy it. So we'll just say this. About two women collide in different parts of their lives twice. And then I looked it up and it was about... I'm not really sure exactly but it just didn't really intrigue me enough to want to read it I'm definitely going to give it a try and try to read it but I'm not really excited for it <laughs> um, but it's a pretty cover and it's a cute little spine so yeah there's that one and this one is called all the light we cannot see again didn't really know I think I've seen someone else haul this on booktube on YouTube didn't really know nothing about this um, but what I gather when I actually um, looking into it it's about a a mom and dad and Nazis and it's space in Paris and they flee some Nazis and go to tan or go to Germany yeah, so it's like based off, and this is by Anthony Dower. Um, and like I just picked this up because this at the thrift store was three dollars, and this little B book was two dollars. Yeah, two dollars. So I like the cover, and it I judged a book by the cover, and it says winner of the that prize, and so it's got to be a good book. So I picked it up, and I'm gonna try. It. But that's all I've got. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it seemed a little rushed. It's still hot and I'm trying not to sweat on camera. So I'm trying to save enough time to do the next video. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you know anything about these two books in particular and if they're really good, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. And I will definitely, I'm definitely going to try to read them, but it's not going to be as soon as some of the books that I have planned to read. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll be back with more types of videos like this. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.